in the hail fought for women to have rights to go to work. Whoever it was, fuck you. Oh, you know, I love these videos when they come out. They just crack me up to no end. So who was it? Who was it who fought for and decided that women should have the right to go to work? Well, my darling, you. You did. And by you, I mean women. Back in the 60s and 70s, and rightfully so, I might add, women wanted to be able to go to work. They wanted to have careers. They wanted to have their own income. Absolutely fine. Fully supported that. But, as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for. Because, you see, now it's not an option to go to work. For most people, it's a requirement to go to work. We've gone from households with single earners to where it's basically required that both people have to go and earn an income. And that's not going to change anytime soon. If anything, it's probably going to get worse in the near future. And here's the other thing, and I know this is going to upset you and a lot of women when I say this, but it is the truth. You don't even do the dirty, disgusting, tough jobs. Things like climbing telephone poles, laying electrical lines underground, coal and other kinds of mining, digging ditches, building sewers, building roads, in 95 degree heat with 100% humidity day after day. In other words, the physical labor. And honestly, I do think it's time women stepped up and did their fair share on that. Give us men a break. Let us have the office jobs, or better yet, let us be the stay-at-homes. We'll be more than happy to take that on. And then you can continue to advance your careers and earn the money. All in the interest of equality, of course.